Mark Green and Matt Wojcik with the Greener Corporation here today to talk to you about how Greener Corporation can work with you uh, on your project development. And we're going to give three examples today uh, of projects that we've worked uh, with major food companies on uh, to help them optimize their operations. So the first one is going to be uh, part standardization, something that we've done numerous times. Uh, and we'll talk about seal reduction. And finally, we'll speak to film trials. So uh, part standardization, Matt, can you walk us through that? Sure. Uh, part standardization can take many different forms. Uh, it can be simply uh, if you have two machines and you want to make the serration pattern on one machine match the serration pattern on another machine, all the way to redesigning the parts on a machine to to match all the same. So if you have multiple or a, a line with multiple machines that are uh, manufactured by different vendors to be able to provide the same parts for each machine. The benefits of that would be that there's lower inventory costs, less parts in inventory, and ultimately, most times we're able to standardize to a part that we keep in stock that's less expensive than the existing part that you use. Yeah, I think I mean everyone can see the uh, the cost savings side of part standardization, but as you mentioned, uh, a lot of times you know, standardizing a part uh, can mean taking a better design, something that works better here in this example and uh, take carrying that across the line across the plan and in, in some cases across multiple plans absolutely yeah it, it's always uh, it's kind of moving best practices that's that's a good way of uh, of uh, speaking to that point so next we're going to move on to seal reduction and I know we've done this uh, in more than one occasion and been very successful with it. So uh, take us through that. So Greener's been doing seal reduction projects for major multinational companies for over 20 years. It's especially pertinent now because there is a, such a large focus on reducing the amount of packaging that's used and um, therefore uh, eliminating uh, waste in landfills and so on. Um, so for us, seal reduction is reducing the amount of seal at the end of a package by changing the, the width of the sealing jaws. And this allows you to reduce your cutoff length and keep your headspace in the package where the product sits the same. Uh, play out that the with the seal reduction, we're concentrating the pressure on the sealing jaw and getting better seals in addition to the cost savings. Yeah, uh, mainly on a, a flat jaw sealing system, the force is constant that brings the sealing jaws together, but the surface area that is being used to compress the film is smaller and therefore it actually increases the sealing pressure and therefore uh, allows for better seal integrity in many cases. So I have um, an exercise to show what's how quickly the cost savings pile up when reducing seal area in a package or reducing um, package length. So this material reduction or cost reduction exercise assumes that you have one machine that runs 300 packages per minute. And in that case, we were able to reduce the overall package by eight millimeters, which would be a four millimeter reduction per seal. So in this case, we saved 2.4 meters per minute 144 meters per hour, 3,456 3, meters per day, and then we carry that out per week, 
and then per year and the per year assumption in this case was that is that the wrapper runs for roughly 40 weeks and in this case there's a savings of 601 miles of film which uh to put it in perspective is the distance between new york city and charlotte north carolina wrapper so i mean uh, seal reduction is typically done you know uh, across the board so we're talking you know multiple lines multiple plants that's a tremendous amount of material that is not going to be going to, into a landfill yeah what, what we've found is uh, especially when there's a lot of machines involved in any seal reduction project, but the, 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 the savings or the, the payback generally comes within a year. So the cost of that project is new sealing jaws, especially when customers time their, their changes with standard graphic changes then the, the payback is extremely quick in most cases. And a lot of times, you know, when we're looking at uh, you know, redesigning a, a ceiling system and, and for seal reduction, it's an opportunity to look at part standardization as well, isn't it? Exactly. If we're going to have to replace ceiling jaws to begin with, we may as well look at standardizing those parts so they all function the same and allow you to reduce your uh, carrying costs and in inventory. Very good. Uh, so the last uh, item on our uh, list here is film trials. And I'll, everyone is looking uh, at cost savings that we talked about, right, with seal reduction. Uh, but they can also come in the form of uh, thinner films, uh, different films. Uh, and everyone is also looking for more environmentally friendly films. So. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you're successful, and that's where Greener Corporation can can help through uh, you know supporting your film trials. So walk us through that as well, man. So Greener's involvement in your film trials takes what would normally be a process of taking a new roll of film and putting it on a machine and pressing start and not changing a thing and having kind of a go, no go as to whether the film runs or not and transfers that to a holistic full process where greener evaluates the film that you're going to run. We look at the ceiling tooling that you're going to use on that trial and gauge whether or not it has the proper serration pattern, the jaws made out of the proper material in order to enhance your chances that you have a successful run on that film. Yeah. So with the focus in these trials being entirely on the film, uh, if you're in a, a plant that has, uh, say, two different lines, you know, it may run well on one line, not on the other. Uh, and if you don't have proper, you know, uh, setup and the machine environment is not considered, uh, the chances of it being successful uh, are going to be greatly diminished. Absolutely. So. After our evaluation of the tooling and the film itself, what, we'll, what we do in many cases is attend the film trial on, on that specific day and make those machine adjustments necessary to optimize and enhance your chances for success in that trial. I think we've both been in that situation where um, we've been in the plants for these film trials and uh, they probably would not have been successful uh, just left to you know their own devices with the uh, machine tooling set up the way that it was when sure. they arrived. Sure, which which speaks to the the fact of of how often we get called in to do this type of thing at this point. Yes. So all of these projects together are are ways that Greener Corporation can help you save money on a large scale and help your packaging operations be more successful. We, uh, we want to thank you for your time today. Uh, we're going to pull up the blog post. Uh, we've got uh, some information on there if you are interested in uh, specific things that you can look to Greener Corporation for uh, in addition to project development uh, some of the things that we touched on this week, 
but there's certainly a lot more content up there. Uh, if there are things that are uh, specific needs that you're looking for, I uh, appreciate your time today. I, I know that we've had some difficulties uh, with the, the taping of these. And if you have uh, anything in particular that you would like to reach out to us for, uh, please do so. You can reach out to Matt or myself uh, directly at Greener Corporation. And I'd like to encourage you, if you do uh, take a look at the blog posts up there, that you also pass them on to the maintenance mechanics and machine operators or engineers or anyone else within your organization, because these are all the, the tips and tricks that we utilize and we bring to the table uh, uh, in person, but in a format that can be viewed on a regular basis and will help people uh, with their day-to-day -day jobs. Okay. Thank you for joining us today.